Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. I think it's going to be dismal news for Disney because we've got the street calling Universal's Epic Universe a Disney killer theme park. And Oh, that sounds familiar. Disney killer theme park. And, and uh, largely in part thanks to a huge Harry Potter expansion. Yes, which you knew it was going to be one of the different, they're going to have like spokes and different areas go different ways and one of them is Harry Potter. Yes, um, so they are, I hate to break it to you, they are going to triple down on Harry Potter. This will be the third park to have Harry Potter content. And it sounds like this one's going to be a doozy. They have more information on uh, what's coming. Some of it's based on the original movies, I think the Ministry of Magic, and then they also have what they believe to be scenes from the crimes of Grindelwald and it's basically going to be Magic Epcot. It's 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 going to be like a French uh, cafe area. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, so I think it's going to be pretty awesome. But again, to have you know um, a financial outlet come out and say that that this park is going to be a Disney killer mm-hmm. is huge. And the fact that uh, despite everybody still ranting about J.K. Rowling, it doesn't change anything. They're still mm-hmm. building more Harry Potter in the theme parks. They're still planning on doing more Harry Potter TV shows, movies, and video games. She's publishing another book. Scholastic is still publishing her stuff. And again, I am trying to figure out why Hogwarts Legacy was the one thing of all the stuff that she's involved in, and she's more heavily involved in the other stuff than she is the video game. Of all the stuff that she's involved in, of all the stuff that she's making money on, why this particular video game is what caused the internet to break. You but know? it did. It did. Um, but she's. Because this is the most recent thing that you know was around the time for comments. There's there's lumping under that. Yeah. So are, are all these people are all these people who tried to get this game canceled? Are they gonna go camp out at Universal and be like, you need to stop building it right now because you're just lining her pockets? No, you they're, they're gonna go to Universal when it opens, though. Oh, absolutely. So they could go Nintendo. ride this stuff because the same people, the same type of people that were hiding their achievements yeah. on Steam. Yes. Yes. Because you're all. You're all a bunch of hypocrites, right? So we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about how, um, again, we have another article. We did uh, a video a couple days ago about how the one CBR reporter, I think it was Anthony. Grimoly, Anthony. Anthony, who was trying to spin this narrative that uh, Hogwarts Legacy came and went and it's not a big deal. Oh, they're backing it up too now saying yes. that it makes sense. Yes, yes, it makes sense. So this Ooh, is... Oh, now they're all coming for Anthony. This I'm is, here for it. This is the second or third article from a gaming website calling out the CBR journalist who's trying to spin a narrative that Hogwarts Legacy, uh, you know, playtime decreasing over the course of a month when it was a single player RPG with a finite ending is is somehow a fail. When the game has sold a ridiculous number, it's probably over a billion dollars in sales so far, and it hasn't even come out for the PS4 or uh, Switch or any of the the lower tier last gen consoles that most people have, you know, um, and there, yeah, SVG is just like, yeah, it's totally normal. This is a totally normal drop off. Well, hold on, I'm gonna pop some popcorn. Not really. Go ahead and go. Okay. All right. Anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, almost three hundred thousand subs. Yay! Thank you for the support. Uh, thank you for your continued support. Um, it's greatly appreciated. And yeah, I mean, we're not going to make this a Hogwarts legacy video, but I did want to bring this up because you, you hadn't seen this article yet. This is the second or third article I have seen since that tweet went around from uh, Grimuglia from CBR okay. trying to say that, you know, the playtime's dropping off a cliff. And, you know, it's like, oh, all those chuds are already bored of Hogwarts legacy. It's a huge win. It's like, it doesn't matter if they don't play it anyway. The damn game is breaking sales records. They got your money. They already got your money. If you play the game or not, people are buying the game, not even playing it, just to send a message. You know, people are buying multiple copies just to send a message. Yes. But that being said, they are saying this is actually very, very normal. And um, you know, it's a single player game. It's only Steam. 
that's the you know the only way that we, and, and steam pc gamers are different than console gamers and there's a lot of new stuff coming out this month so a lot of people they might play the game for 20 30 hours and they're like oh hey there's something new shiny you know coming out and i, I want to play that for a while and i've done that too i've tried to juggle I mean, look, just this month, they dropped um, Metroid Prime Remastered, which mm-hmm. Nintendo didn't even say they were working on. They just, like, dropped it. They're like, hey, yeah, that one game you guys have been asking for for, like, 20 years. Yeah, here it is. Go play it. Um, Atomic Hearts yes. out, Resident Evil 4. But anyway, the uh, the main attraction, the main attraction here is that uh, J.K. Rowling is going to keep making lots and lots of money uh, because, yes, Universal's Disney Killer theme park has big Harry Potter news, and they're actually going out to let's see here uh theme park tourist who posted this the other day there are four exciting new things we've learned about universal's epic universe now remember epic universe in florida is where they're going to put super nintendo world so that's that's strike one strike two is more harry potter and harry potter is seeing a resurgence in popularity now because of hogwarts legacy right Mm -hmm. and then strike three is going to be i think how to train your dragon we've got universal monsters i mean this this thing is going to be pretty big So what are they going to do? You're in the... You're going to have both the uh, London Ministry of Magic. Yes. And the the, the Paris place, as it was a cachet. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, so how are they going to do it? Are they going to do like fireplaces or something you can walk through? Oh, really? I was just going to say, how are they going to do that? You're going to transfer from one to the other? Fireplaces with Ah, sleep powder. I didn't even read this. Go me. Yes. Go me. Yes. I got it right. So <laughs> it sounds to me, because at first I was like, well, Ministry of Magic. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, you know, because they have rise for it. This sounds to me like they're basically going to build like Magic Epcot and they're going to have like. Mepcot. P- Mepcot. And they're going to have, um, you know, different international wizarding locations. Um and I, I think actually it'd be really cool if, you know, again, going back to Hogwarts Legacy, if they ever do another expansion that maybe have some of the international wizarding schools or something you could visit. But yeah, it sounds like you can go back and forth between locations with flu powder. See, I was just, that was going to be like, what are you going to do? Like, it's going to be the same place. So they're going to probably use some kind of transportation, transport. I'm like, oh, is it going to be like the fireplace thing? Yeah, flu powder. Okay. Yeah, so they're going to have the, the uh, Paris scene from the Crimes of Grindelwald and then, you know, London Ministry of Magic. Yeah, we well, knew about the Ministry of Magic, yes. Yep. Uh, the land features an attraction that transports guests to the Ministry of Magic, which is located in London via flu powder. Rumors indicate the attraction will be based on the flagship Harry Potter series, not Fantastic Beasts. It will take guests inside the sentencing of the evil Dolores Umbridge at the Ministry of Magic. Reportedly, actor Imelda Staunton has signed on to reprise her role for the ride. Oh, so that's, that's cool. So that's actually very cool. So now you know who to cancel. No, okay. Yeah, right. Um, so ironically cool. enough, she was the head of cancel culture in the Harry Potter uh-huh. universe, right? Uh, not much else is known about the upcoming ride. It features a huge show building, the biggest in the entire yeah, it's theme park. Big. I've seen pictures of, like of the the different things going on with. I always use by reconstruct. Yeah, see. Yeah, and um, it's rumored to be a dark ride that will use a system similar to that of the Amazing Adventures of Spider Man Islands of Adventure. It's a lot of screens. It's a lot of screens, but uh, in addition to the main ride, the land will have a live action show inside a theater. More wand interactivity. Okay, makes um, sense. Originally, a VR-based ride that would have taken place at the France Ministry of Magic was also supposed to be built. And all the, the uh, front of the ride show building is still being constructed. The ride has been canceled. That sucks. That does suck. The space behind the facade will instead be used as an expansion pad. Okay. Okay, they keep doing now. this. There's several places. There's several places that, are, that have area for extra expansions. Yeah. Um, I think they're kind of playing it by ear. Actually, it would, wouldn't it be funny if they did a Hogwarts Legacy-based... Well, I know there's room for expansion behind that. I know there's room for expansion, I think, over where the, the monsters area is. And I know for sure there's room for expansion by uh, Nintendo. Yeah. Because they're talking about like, other things they might add on to it later. Pokemon or yeah. something, yeah. Um, so they are talking, and we, I think we talked about this before, that they were going to do a reservation system. about Zelda, too, by the way. But anyway, go ahead. Zelda. Yeah, they're going to hit the top, like, five Nintendo I think it's leaning franchises. more towards Zelda. I've heard a couple different things about Zelda. If That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Don't but know yeah. if it's true. I'm just telling you. But they said they're probably going to have a reservation system. Uh, I, I, it's going to be insane to get into it at first. But again, back to this article. They're calling it a Disney killer. Um, it's not going to kill Disney, but it's going to kill the attendance at Disney World because um, this is big. I can't. I, we keep saying it's big, but I don't think people realize the scope of how big this is going to be with the amount of IP and everything in it. It's definitely going to hurt Disney. It's all new stuff and it's all popular which is why stuff. disney's losing their shit which is why they're bringing back one of the old people from imagineering to run it which is why they're like a d23 hey maybe possibly maybe what would be behind beyond big thunder mountain railroad guys i th- 
Someday I, maybe. I think that – Don't look at Universal. Look here. I think whether or not that happens depends on how <laughs> much, much money they have left. <laughs> yeah, how much business gets taken from them because of, of Epic Universe. Um, because – Remember, we did we talked about this in the video last week or whatever. Disney is actually bringing back an older Imagineer to head up Imagineering because Imagineering is in piss poor shape mm-hmm. right now. And this guy left in 2016 before things got really, really weird. And what we're saying, okay, well, I'm bringing up recently. They had there was going to be a Mary Poppins attraction, okay, at Walt Disney World, and they and they they scrapped it a while ago. Now it's been officially, but apparently announced it's been canceled. But everybody knew it was canceled. But you look at the ride, all it was was like teacups with some like big wooden backdrops around it to look like Mary Poppins stuff. Yeah. And that it was that's how cheap they are going. They aren't innovating anything. Um, even with the with the spaceship Earth expand, I think they were gonna do which I think they canceled that too, thank God. Um, they were gonna rechange scenes that it was gonna be very it was gonna stay the same because we were adding a story point of light. And and when you look at the stuff, no, they were changing everything to make it about Cleopatra and everything else to to pander to certain things. Um, but it was mostly this the story light and projections, which is yeah. boring. And it's all lazy, and people are complaining, and they need to go back to innovation because for a while they weren't letting the Imagineering create. It was basically, you know, do stuff, but be on a cheap, out of the box teacups. We'll make it look pretty with, you mm-hmm. know, wood cutouts. And now I think they're trying to go back to that shit. We got to innovate. Like Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind was a completely different coaster vehicle. It was like they own patents on it. They need, and right now, over at Universal, they've been filing patents right and left for all kinds of vehicles that are new and different. Yeah. They want to compete. They're going to have to compete, you know, like still sharp and steel. They're going to have to compete that way. Well, that's what they they bring up. They said before Universal added Harry Potter, Disney had drastically cut spending at Disney mm-hmm. World and Disneyland because people were going to come regardless. Look. Well, the Disney almost got their Harry Potter, but they screwed up that one. Disney dropped the ball with Harry Potter because they basically wanted to do Harry Potter their way. And J.K. Rowling's like, no, I, I, I have a very specific criteria and I want you to make it as close to my vision of the wizarding world as possible. And she even, you know, had the final say in the butterbeer. Like mm-hmm. that was her, her call. And, um, she has those rights and she gets paid again, everybody freaking out over Hogwarts legacy. She gets a shit ton more money from these theme parks. Yes. You know, she could never do anything ever again. And she's just, just back up the Brinks truck to her castle. Right. Um, but yeah, the only reason that they did anything recently at Disney was because of Harry Potter. Uh, they talked about Toy Story Land. Uh, they talked about you know New Fancy Land, Pandora, Galaxy's Edge. That was all in reaction to Harry Potter. But unfortunately, they did a lot of it badly. Mm-hmm. Now, I love Pandora. I don't even like the Avatar movies, but I, I like Pandora. Yeah, Pandora's done very well. It's done very well. And that was because Joe Rohde, I think, was involved mm-hmm. in that. And of course, you know, he got rid of him. Oh, I'm sorry. He, he left on his own. He, he yes. left. Wink. I'm sure. Yeah. Wink, wink. Yeah. wink. I think he'll be back. I think they'll I bring back. That'd be awesome if they got him back. Um, because especially if they're going to do more with Animal Kingdom, like with... Uh, People would lose their shit if they got him back. He's but he got, might not come back because he probably wouldn't want to be put in charge. Yeah, that's true. But no, um, Pandora is fantastic. Galaxy's Edge, though, they, that was supposed to go toe to toe with Wizarding World. The difference between Wizarding World and Galaxy's Edge is Wizarding World, you are literally walking onto the set of the movie. Like it looks exactly like the movie. When you walk into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you could swear you were right there, right? Everything about it. Um, the shops, the dragon on top of Gringotts, the whole, you know. Galaxy's Edge is some random space planet that's supposed to be in the on Star the, Wars. Yeah, on the very, very rim, Galaxy's Edge. So you can go make your own story, your own adventure, and just you get some character, you know, cameos here and there. And the, the Falcon's there, and that is cool. The Falcon being there is cool, though. Yeah, and that should have been Docking but Bay. But the ride 90- sucks. Should have been Docking Bay 94, and they should have had, like, an animatronic Jabba the Hutt or something. The ride, the ride is really boring. Yeah, the rides. It was supposed to all, you know, oh, it responds to how well you yeah. do. It's not good. I'm sorry. It's not. I'm actually, I'm actually okay with like just going in the Falcon being like, yeah, it looks like fine. But we got, I mean, we got pushed through so fast. It was like, there it is. Let's snap a picture real quick before we got to, you know, go through the ride. Um, but yeah, they only, Disney only builds stuff when they have to. And they said, yeah, because of, because of that, um, you know, you got Cosmic Rewind, which was basically a reaction to all the coasters they're building. At uh, Universal, and they, they, it's funny. Universal can can put a coaster together like Hagrid's in like a year or two, and it takes Disney like 
eight years? Well, I think we heard before years? that they don't always. It, it's the harder they try to divide up teams for one to keep things more secret. Yeah. But I also I, I just don't think people want to work with them so much because there's been lots of cases I've, of I've people not that, getting yeah. paid or different things like that, lawsuits and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and the light cycle run. I'm so I mean it's cool, but it's also an old ride. Everybody's like, oh my god, it's a new. Th-. It's like no, the ride is old. It came out in Shanghai years ago. It was basically Shanghai's version of Space Mountain. That's what yeah. they got instead of Space Mountain. They got the light cycle run. Basically, but here's the one thing Disney does is smart is they keep putting these new attractions over in other countries where they're part owned by other other groups because why pay for R and D when they'll pay for it for you? And then and like they said in the movie Contact, why buy build one when you can build two? Yeah, for the same price. Yeah, for, yeah, pretty yeah. much. And that's what they do. They basically were like, hey, uh, yeah, we'll take uh, Shanghai's money and we'll just you know R and D some of our. I mean, actually, what I'd love to see them do. Is the uh, the Shanghai version of Pirates, but uh, that's not going to happen. That's a lot of screens again. Though. It's again, it's a lot of screens. But anyway, um, they're like, yeah, they're they're surprised. They said they're surprised at the company's lack of major announcements in answer to Epic Universe. Few people expected the Mouse House would add a fifth gate to Disney World, which I think they desperately need. But you know what? You know what got the most attention and is not surprising to me at all about Disney. What everybody's focusing on and what they're because the one Imagineer said that they were taking notes. The villains. Yes. The villains area that was supposed to be beyond um, Big Thunder Mountain. Now, it's been rumored for years that, that of course, this wasn't true, that they were going to build a fifth gate and it was going to be villains. Yes. And it was going to be, and everybody's like, oh my God, because that would, I mean, let's be honest, that would be amazing. And it was going to be villains theme. Every time they do like these villains after hours events, they sell out like almost immediately. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants the villains. And when they said that during the D23, that's what got the most, yeah, hot damn. And they're like, we, we pay attention. We heard that. So they'll probably put like an add-on to, to Magic Kingdom. That's a villain's area. It'd be like New Fantasy Land, but with villains. If yeah. you have this big area, and they're like, we might put in Kanto and Coco. You know, yeah, okay, maybe. But villains, I'm telling you, you spend your money and you spend your time and you focus on a decent, vil- a large, decent villains expansion, you might have something that would compete with uni- with Epic Universe. Yeah, but what... what they're not going to listen to me, what but listen to me. What they'll do is they'll, they'll have a large expansion with one... One half-assed yeah. attraction and it's a whole out of bunch the box, of, yeah. A whole bunch of shops and a whole bunch of restaurants. What if we do some kind of teacups ride? <laughs> you know, just put up a bunch of yeah, like, right. cutouts around it. Well, we, well, okay, it's the other side of Thunder Mountain. What if we just take the steamboat and we just have Maleficent on the paddle wheeler? And yeah, we tell a story about the dark side of Disney. You know, it would be cool huh. if they had Chernabog, if they had like, you know, a ride, but like the one, like, you know, you have each of the mountains at Magic mm. Kingdom. There's a mountain, but it's Chernabog. Dark mountain. I would, yeah, bald yeah. mountain. But yeah, that would be, that would be, that would be insensitive to, uh, bald to fall, the, what's it, what's it, um, the follically, follically challenged. challenged. You could have Patrick Stewart narrate it. I'm just saying, you do another Welcome mountain, to bald mountain that's bald mountain that's a turn up. Oh my god, people would be like, you know, epic what? You know what I mean? I'm just saying, they could. There's so many things they could do. That costs money, but, but that's just it. They don't have the money to do it. I don't think that they try to do whatever they could as cheap as they could. And right now, right now, Disney is not the time to cheap out. I'm telling you, you want to stay competitive, you're going to have to spend some money. Yeah, yeah, and that's and people are like, okay, so Bob Iger's not committing. He's like, oh yeah, we're gonna do Pandora Avatar um, attraction. Now that's the thing. Yeah, he won't say. They won't say what. They won't say what. Or ex- no, I'm sorry. He didn't use the term attraction. Experience. 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 And um, in Florida, we have a lot of property. We have a lot of opportunity outside the U.S. We actually have more opportunity in California. Okay, opportunity <laughs> is not. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Do you know why they're saying this? Hmm. Because uh, Universal keeps announcing. That they're expanding the parks and Texas there's, there's, and, and there's talk, t- talks about different parks overseas that they yeah. might do because they have several in other countries. Um, I like, want to go to the, the Japan one. Yeah, they do a lot of really cool stuff over there, like yeah. with Sailor Moon and different things. But um, yeah, that's what they're saying. And they don't have. And I'm sorry, I don't believe there's a lot of opportunity in California unless we're talking about their new development they're building with the with the houses. That whatever in Arizona and California and stuff. Remember oh, they're going to build yeah. the rich oh, people. Oh, the hipster houses. The, yes, yeah, the yeah. rich people. Um, we have a lot of opportunity. Trust me, people. You, you can talk all you want. You're not showing. You're telling. And when you are showing, it's like ew. So Disney massively miscalculated over the last ten or fifteen years. They basically spent all of their resources, all their put all their best Imagineers on making 
uh, deluxe hotels, deluxe DVCs, and then they're trying to get into the hipster housing market and all this other crap. And now we got a recession coming, so good luck with that. Um, and uh, all these people that all the people who have bought that stuff were like tech bros, and they're all losing their jobs now. So that's not going to work out very well. And they're well. bringing over other attractions, but they're like you said, they're clones uh, from France with Ratatouille, yeah. clones from China with Tron. And you know that'll that'll keep people at bay for a little while. That'll keep people excited for a bit. But you need this to do something new. You need rides. People want rides. They don't care. Like, oh, we have a new themed land that has a meet and greet. Meet and and, and greets. Meet and and greets. And uh, we got a new restaurant and a a merch store. Well, they're already doing that now. Like I told you, I did a video on it before that they're like, their big announcements about all the thrills. The word thrills. They keep using that word in all their PR thrills for Disney. And it's just, hey, Tron and a bunch of meet and greets. By the time Disney figures out what they're doing, because again, they're restructuring Imagineering right now, right? By the time they get their shit together, it's going to be too late. Epic Universe mm-hmm. opens in like a year and a half. Uh, Super Nintendo. Oh, there's no way they can catch up at this point. No. Uh, Super Nintendo World's already open in California and it's kicking ass. And I'm sorry, it's going to take Disney, being Disney, 10 years to do anything. Did you see the popcorn bucket they have with Mario and the car? I mean, it's an expensive no. popcorn bucket, but it's really cool. It's it's, this, it's a Mario Kart popcorn bucket over there. They're actually bringing the like the food and some of the merchandise from Japan, which if you watch my if you watch this channel, you know my feelings on why D- Disney keeps shortchanging us on Duffy and Friends and the yeah. Asian Park merchandise. They're actually listening at Universal and bringing the really cool popcorn buckets and all the really cool merchandise and food and, and that over here. And it's and people are just like, oh my god, it's amazing! It's so beautiful! It's so awesome! And they're eating it up, no pun intended. And then Disney, like, they, they're, they're leaving my table. Stop! They're what, what? Just grab them and slap them a few times. And say, what's wrong with you? Well, just look at this. With like, their own hands. <laughs> they're they're big Mickey gloved hands. Um, look at this. Oh, look here's their third gate with freaking Harry Potter and freaking Super Nintendo World. Oh, hey, Disney's opening a Moana fountain. At Epcot, it's that basically nice? what it is. It's a walk through water attraction. Isn't I mean, it's gonna nice? it's gonna be kind of cool unless you're me and have a big fear of giant statues looking at you. Um, but do you want to watch Moana squirt? Sure you do. Come on down. <laughs> you want to play with her water? You can do it. <laughs> Come on down to Epcot. We got you know fountains and meet and greets. Yeah, it's just it looks it's look guys it and all the stuff that's happening now at Disney. It's been years since it's been announced. They want to have something that will get attention and they'll get people excited. Besides the villains land, which I think if you just make that all villains and not just Encanto and everything else, you get people excited, excited. But say you're going to bring back uh, Dragon Imagination with Dreamfinder and Figment, even if it's a new version of it, but you're going to do bring them. But I'm telling you. Yeah. But what do we know? Oh, here's here's what they think they know about the. Oh uh, yeah, I already seen this. It's the Starfall Racers. They're all this stuff in the hub area are named after space. It's going to be space themed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I. (laughs) It's like, look, I'm not excited about anything happening and i'm a lifelong disney fan we again we spent a good portion of our careers covering disney theme parks literally for a living having media access doing the whole thing disney ain't got nothing exciting coming up they really don't i I, they could they really could but they got to get their shit together real quick because because universal is gonna destroy them Mm-hmm. Disney killer, indeed. And I know, I know someone. Can I say something for real quick? Yeah. Okay. I know someone's gonna be watching this video. So, hi, Gina. Okay. All right. So we're gonna wrap this up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.